Hello, my reading friends, and welcome to story time. Today, I'm going to be reading. I like myself. If you have this book, go grab it, and we'll read it together. And if you don't want to miss any of my new stories, be sure to click on the little blue butterfly in the corner of the screen. Come read with me. I like myself. By Karen Bumont, illustrated by David Catro. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different, and the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me, and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun. You see. For anything to bother me, even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. 'Cause nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever. Anywhere can make me feel what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts, or with a silly snout that snorts. Or knobby knees, or hippo hips, or purple polka dotted lips. Or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose, or yikes with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself. Because I'm me. What a fun and empowering read! Remember, always be proud of who you are and embrace your uniqueness. Let people see the weird, quirky, magical, and beautiful person that you are. Until our next story, see you later.